Do you control people by using their fears to control them? Um, definitely not. Um, I feel this is what the media and politicians frequently do. They, what they do is they find things that inside of people generally and uh, that where people feel unsafe and then they manipulate the safety. They either cause them to feel more fear and then choose a certain action or they cause them to, they bribe them with feeling less fear and so they choose a different type of action. And I believe this is a very, very common form of manipulation because it's often the form of manipulation that most parents use with their own children in order to get the child to do a certain thing or not do a certain thing. So often a child was threatened with punishment if they did the wrong thing, or they were given a bribe, you know, a carrot on a stick if you like, if they do the right thing. And this is all a part of manipulation through fear, through our fears. I don't do that. I just state very clearly to a person, you have this fear and you need to release it. You need to feel it to release it. You need to go through the feeling of it to release it, is what I say to them. So in the situation you talked about uh, with the parent earlier, you were saying a, person, a parent might threaten a child. Are you saying to invoke their fear, but that's different to what you're saying you do? Yes, yeah, so they might threaten a child with some future punishment right, to invoke a certain fear in the child so the child goes ahead and does a certain thing that the parent wants them to do. So that's, the child isn't feeling their fear in that situation? Not at all. The child, the child is experiencing the, future, the threat of a future fear and because the child is afraid of the parent already, because usually the parent's already hit them, or already, the, the, ch the child has had demonstrated to it that the parent is capable of such behaviour. As a result of that, the child will not engage the action that it would like to engage. Mm -hmm. And parents have frequently use this as a form of manipulation of the child's behaviour, right? Mm -hmm. And that's not what I'm, what I'm doing when I'm talking about fear with people. When I'm talking about fear with people, I'm trying to help people release their fear. I want them to not be governed by fear anymore so they have a clear mind and are able to make decisions, wise decisions, that are not governed by some unhealed emotional tra trauma from their childhood. Mm -hmm. We, ha we often have huge unhealed emotional traumas from our childhood that cause us to fear things that we don't need to have any fear of. For, for example, how many people in Australia are afraid of snakes? Quite Very a lot. Many. <laughs> Quite a lot, right? Yeah. Because snakes in Australia are poisonous. How many people have actually died from a snake bite in Australia? A far smaller percentage than those. Well, I, I don't think there is even one a year. There's more people dying from shark attacks than there are from <laughs> snake bites in Australia. But there's more people probably afraid of snakes, snakes than, sharks, yeah. than sharks because there's probably less people that go into the water. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the reality is snakes are just these tiny little creatures, really. How many of them are as big as a human? Right. Let's look at spiders. How many people are afraid of spiders? <laughs> you know, there must be... Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, whenever a person comes to Australia, they're generally afraid of the spiders here, right? And, and yet the spiders are tiny little creatures, like it makes no logical sense to be afraid of one. Mm -hmm. um, even if they're poisonous, it makes no logical sense to be afraid of one because it's quite easy to, to you know, destroy it even. Yep. Um, it makes no logical sense to be afraid of one. But lots of us are afraid. Why are we afraid? Because events happened in our childhood that caused us to be afraid. And these events are still manipulating our lives. Mm -hmm. They're still controlling what we do. If a person releases these terrors and fears related to their childhood and how their parents viewed these kind of things, they will grow up without any fear. And as a result, they won't be afraid of snakes, spiders or any other thing. They won't be afraid of death. They won't be afraid of you know, lack. They won't be afraid of starving to death. They won't be afraid of any of these things, right? Because they will have released the emotions that cause those fears. That's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. If we live in those fears, we're going to be governed by them the rest of our existence. As, and that includes our existence in our spirit world. What we need to do is release the fears so we're no longer governed by them. Once we've released them, we now have the potential of embracing our real life without fear. Hmm.